Hello YouTube, today I'm in Kerbal Space Program and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview and guide on how to use action groups. So if you don't know, action groups are basically ways of having um, executing commands on your rocket that are bound to a button on your keyboard, one of the number buttons, so that you don't actually have to, um, you know, right click on things and do an action that way. Uh, essentially the name suggests it, action groups. Anyway, in the VAB or the space plane hangar, you can go to the action groups tab um, up here next uh, to the left of where you name your craft. And if you have anything you can do an action group on, then uh, it will be selectable and I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, let's find something we can actually use an action group on. So here's a good example, the rapier engine. And I'll just uh, get a little fuel tank as well so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, we may as well add a parachute because I think we can also activate those too. So now if we go into the action groups tab, you'll see on the left hand side, these are all the different action groups that there are. So there's some that are already there, like the abort uh, thing and the stage thing. Those, so for example, stage is when you press the space bar. Gear is when you press the G key to, or the button up at the top on your user interface. RCS, light, SAS, brakes, and abort are all the same type of thing. And then you've got all your custom ones, and those are for the number buttons on your keyboard. So custom 01 being the one button, all the way through to custom 10, which is the zero button. So let's assign an action group to custom 01. Let's say we want to deploy our parachute. Well, if we go into custom 01, uh, click on it, then click on the parachute when we're in the action groups menu. It'll actually be highlighted in a sort of dark blue. And then we can up here in selection, choose a command that we want to happen when we hit customer one. You can actually cut the shoot as well because that's something else that you can um, do on a shoot without actually having a Kerbal there. But we're going to deploy it and then in customer two we can just click on that there and then uh, click on the rapier engine and let's say we want to switch mode. So there we go and uh, now we can just take this to the launch pad and I'll show you what I mean um, and show you how to activate them just basically prove that they work because from here it's pretty straightforward you just press the buttons that you assigned so yep now we're on the launch pad I'm just going to turn on SES throttle up a bit and hit space and you'll see the engine obviously activates now I can hit 2 and it'll switch mode obviously it doesn't have any air to breathe so it can't actually do anything um, and then I can switch mode again deactivate it and hit 1 and that will deploy our parachute Anyway guys, I hope the video helped you um, work out how to use action groups. If you have any suggestions or questions, then please leave a comment down below. And as always, have a nice day.